Hi, and welcome back to Bali today. Well, the fashion industry is a $90 million U.S. dollar industry here in Bali. So, um, joining us today and having a lot of fun telling us about his experiences and his philosophy is our guest, Paul Rupp. Hi, Paul. Thanks for Thanks staying. For yeah. All right. Now, we were talking about your amazing and interesting life. And um, I wanted to ask you, being part of that go a trail and that anti capitalistic thing, which, you know, we were in that generation, what motivated you then to create this amazing international empire of your clothing? If it wasn't that typical capitalist rule the world thing, what was it? A survival. When you're living in Asia and you're a Westerner, and you run out of money, you've got to do something. And what would you have rather been than a clothing designer? I would have rather been a smuggler. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, the fact is that uh, I wasn't uh, either crazy enough or I, in reality I couldn't keep a secret, so it was the wrong industry, and a wrong industry for me to go into. I understand. I wanted to be a spy, like a secret agent, but you know, I can't keep a secret. <laughs> no, I was lucky. Uh, not having money... I was making my own clothes for myself, and people said, gee, where'd you get that from? And I said, well, I, you know, I made it. Can I make something for you? And they say, sure, and I'd make it for them. And word of mouth, it just became that way. And I was walking down the beach with a very famous American artist called Peter Max in a place where I lived for many, many years called Fire Island, a little island with no cars, no motorcycles. So you were Bali, you were Goa, you were Far Island I'm, as well. Oh, yeah, my God. I'm, a, I'm an island boy, you know, but uh, <laughs> we get island fever sometimes. We've got to go somewhere else. <laughs> and uh, I said, you know, China's opening up. I'm going to go make some Chinese Tibetan T-shirts. I said, go. So I wound up in Bombay. I'm walking the streets of Bombay, and I run into an old friend of mine, Texas Jack. And Texas Jack says, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to go make some Chinese Tibetan T-shirts. He said, geez, I know a guy... Over there, he's making these wall tankers from Tibet. I said, great, let me go over and check it out. I walked into his studio. I said, forget about tankers, let's make T-shirts. They're now in museums. Uh, they oh, were my God, seven. is this the Chairman Mao the staff? Buddhas, no, the Buddhas, the Garudas, the dancing skeletons, 23 hand silk screens on each T-shirt. And as I say, now there are T-shirt museums all over the world, and it was the first product I really made uh, where I made textile. And it led to being in an opportunity where someone came to me, come to India, make a collection. It turned out to be the best collection to come from India that year, luckily. And <laughs> um, by accident, we were taking the fabrics that all the babysitters and mothers would use to wipe the children's backside after they went to the toilet. You're kidding. And we, and we made, no, we made fashion out of it. <laughs> Is that what I'm wearing? No, 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 no. That's the evolution of it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Came along at the right time, didn't yeah. I? Um, well, I know that you were just opening in Thailand, too. That's new. Well, You've been you going know, there for a while, though, haven't you? No, actually, we opened in Thailand two years ago. Oh. I've, I've been going for many years, but never could really find the right place, the right time. I was riding camels with a bunch of my friends. I had 15 friends I was taking into India from all over the world. And we're riding to these concerts promoted by Mick Jagger and one of the, the people that were with us, where we would take music people from all over the world, introduce them to the indigenous musicians of each of these little villages, mix the music together, and 15 of us were riding camels across the desert on the Pakistani-Indian border. And one of them was Gulu Levani, a multi-billionaire, and he said, geez, I just built this marina in Phuket. It's been awarded the best marina in Southeast Asia. Would you come and open up one of your stores? So I wound up setting up a company in Thailand, and we do Thailand. We have seven stores now. In Bali, we have nine stores and we're opening up in Surabaya, and it seems to be Asia, because Asia is growing and the West is in atrophy. That's true. But I want to ask you, because um, I it, it, take credit where credit is due, of course. Your marketing is very um, inventive as well. I think you have a different style of marketing than any of the other designers on the island. I read a few years ago about your idea of promoting the shop in a box, yeah. right? How's that going? Or who do we have to blame for your well, marketing? Well, actually, Shop in a Box is the concept. You know, Bali is so talented in its artisans and its availability of wood. So 
we created a concept where we literally build, you give us the design, the floor plan of your store, your destination, and we will create within our image department the store, manufacture it here, put it in a container, ship it off to you. And with that, that's why we've been able to do 33 countries now and exporting to 33 countries. So it was a good idea. I was right. I read without it. I a sales, it was a without good Without a idea. salesman. My company does not have a salesperson. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We do not do a trade show. We simply walk in the other direction. We figured do it as best as we can. If we're good at it, people will come and find us, and that's what's happened. That's the way we build up our marketing. Well, this is the innovation. This is the innovation. And, and this has been your, your relief all along, hasn't it? That don't do well, I used to do the New York shows, I used to do the Rome shows, the Milan, the Tokyo, but they became so expensive, prohibitive, it's the direction of yesterday. It was good for yesterday, but for now, people with a little bit of vision, you can create your own way of method of marketing. For us, the web is the future, and for us, it's just become better at what we do, and word of mouth will get the word out, and the buyers will come. Well, I'm curious, what do you think is going to be Bali in 10 years? We're all a little bit, you know, you've been here long enough to do a fortune thing. What do you The Balinese and the Indonesian people, they sing, they dance, they make music, they paint, they do everything. It's not like they do one, they do it all. And you can go to Tokyo, you can go to New York, you can find very creative people, but not like there is here. Oh, here you go. Oh, the Bali kids. It's just <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> isn't it? So, uh, uh, you, you, I have realized that you yeah. guys are real friends, and yeah. I want to know about this. Because I've seen you modeling his, uh, Paul's clothes yeah. for years, but you're actual friends. Well, yeah. Rocky started coming uh, and doing work with me when she was 17, and her mother would sit over her like a hawk yeah. and watching every mood. And then she became Miss Bali. And oh. now six she's, years ago. Yeah, six years yeah, ago. It's six yeah, six years ago. Oh, well, my dear now. friend Joy, yeah. who I remember when you were young and had braces, I'm going to say that, <laughs> who's just beginning now, same age. Evolution, yeah, evolution. Yeah, 17. Now she's got the new generation happening. Yeah. Oh, oh, let me see. Baby you burn. <laughs> Are you going to deliver this baby? No, actually, the last, <laughs> yeah. the last the one, one I delivered. The company, me. Yeah. You know, oh, hospital, right? yeah of course, yeah. of course, supportive at least. will be there. Salvador Bali's baby was the last one I delivered. Oh, what, what have you given up? It's, or? it's catch? No, basically, you girls do all the work. It's just catch, cut, and tie. <laughs> So we keep you we keep you in awe of us, do we? Well, it's it's a nice secondary, but I, I enjoy watching children come into the world, and I I like the emotion it creates with all the people around it. You know? Yeah, and you're about to go there. This is your first baby. Yes, this is the first time, no experience <laughs> yet. So let's see. Where we all begin. Yeah. Well, she looks so, so beautiful and pregnant. Thank huh? Absolutely. You. Absolutely. You all right. Listen, girls, I'm going to keep you here and ask you a lot of questions. All right. But Paul. Thank you so much. Thank you. Onward, onward. No, yeah. really. Girls, That's thank right. you. That's right. Enjoy. You're going. I'm going. I have oh. another Junji. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Okay. Much appreciated. You too. I'll okay. stand up no yeah. matter what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 All right. Look at that. Thank Arrivals, you, departures. It's Cheers. all happening. I love it when he wears his own Oops. clothes. All right. We're going to take a little break, and we'll be back, and we'll talk about the girls' way of doing it here. Thanks. Thank you.